We've already learned how to set permissions for the whole base by clicking the share button in the upper right corner and granting specific members, members within the organization, or all internet users view, edit, or manage permissions. Advanced permissions are built on top of this for more granular management. For example, you can set permissions for a member to view or edit a dashboard, a table, or even a specific row or column. Click this button in the upper right corner to enter advanced permission settings and click turn on advanced permissions. Here you can see two types of roles, administrators and custom roles. The owner of the base is an administrator with advanced permissions by default. They can manage all contents and permissions of the base, including automated workflows and dashboard settings. Want to add an administrator? Just go to share to add a collaborator and give them manage permission. Custom roles act like a permission group. You can set specific permissions for each custom role. For example, if you want members of sales teammate only be able to view the dashboard, but can edit fields and records in the CRM table, you can create a custom role called sales team A. Set the dashboard permissions to view only and the CRM table permissions to can manage. Then, click assign role, add sales team A members to this role, click save, and you're all set. Thanks for watching. For more tips on using advanced permissions, check out the Lark Help Center.